Welcome to Kayla Jordan TV. Today we are going to be making Oreo truffles. We are going to be making them in my food processor, which I'm super excited. I've only made one other recipe in that so far, so I'm really excited to see what it does. But yeah, let's get right into it. So the first step in making our Oreo truffles is we are going to put all of our Oreos here into our food processor. You can always mash them up with a rolling pin, that's what I ha used to have to do. Um, but now this is going to make my life so much easier, so we're just going to drop these in. Okay, now we're going to take this top off and put our cream cheese. So we're just gonna pulse it so we can get that cream cheese in there going. So now we have our Oreo truffle batter. And now we're gonna form them into little baby balls to refrigerate. It's probably easier if you have a ice cream scooper, but I don't have one this tiny. I only have big ones for like cupcake scoops. It's like big scoops and like cookie scoops, but I feel like if you're gonna have an Oreo truffle, you wanna be able to eat it in one bite, and I need to make them small enough to do so. So, I'm just gonna roll it up super tiny. We're gonna throw these in the freezer for about an hour to make sure they're nice and cold. And then take them out so we can put the white chocolate over them. So now it's time to make them into truffles. So they've been freezing for an hour so they're nice and cold, little balls. And if they're like awkwardly shaped, they're reworkable too so you could just make them more into a ball. I know I said in my previous video that I love the Candy Quick chocolate, but this one right here is uh, the Ghirardelli kind, and I use this because it's thinner. It has a thinner consistency. I like the other one for chocolate covered strawberries because it's thicker, and it gets more coating around. And we're going to dust them with my Oreo. They just came out of the freezer again after I propped them up. I just finished them all and put them back in the freezer for about 30 minutes. Just so I know for sure when I touch them, they're not gonna indent or anything. Kind of chip off the little excess white chocolate at the bottom. So there's not like a huge blob. And it stands up straight on your plate, just like that. Kind of round and straight. Thanks for watching the video on how to make the Oreo truffles. I hope you guys liked it. Please give me a comment below and subscribe.